Hi guys, this is Sibylla Mirage. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as promised, we're gonna do the second unboxing of my Cartier haul. I recently got two bracelets from Cartier and my previous video is unboxing of a small love bracelet in rose gold and the entire review of the bracelet. I wore it for a few days before um, filming the unboxing, just like I did with my thin Justin Clou or small Justin Clou. I think it's a thin Justin Clou. You know what I mean. So I did briefly show this bracelet to you already and I've been wearing it since the day I got it. I did remove it a couple of times. I wanted to clean it. Oh my gosh, before I forget, thank you so much for those of you who subscribed. I love you. It gives me so much confidence in what I'm doing. It makes me feel like I am contributing to I don't know, your spending habits, possibly, <laughs> definitely not to your bank account. And please go ahead and subscribe if, if you haven't already, because it doesn't really affect the um, monetary side um, aspect of YouTube videos. It really just gives me that boost of confidence and slight validation. As sad as it sounds, it's true. So um, it makes me want to make more videos for you. So. Thank you, and let's continue. As some of you already know, I have a regular Justin Clou in yellow gold in size 16 because I am a size 17 in love. So you have to size down for the Justin Clou style. And I love that bracelet very much, but recently I have realized that I don't like stacks that are motionless. I don't find them to be um, sexy in any way. And yes, bracelets, like how sexy can they be? They can be really sexy because wrists, I find them to be very sexy. I don't know why, obviously I'm not a guy, guys probably don't ever look at wrists, but this is for me, this is like my artistic eye judging a woman's silhouette figure and um, I really like bracelets to be slightly looser, especially bangles. And on Cartier website, you will often see uh, models wearing their bracelets, their bangles, very loose. And also on Van Cleef website, the same thing. So I feel like the looser, the better, the more fluid it looks. So if you want to stack a few bracelets in the future, if you want to build your stack and you want it to look cohesive and you still want it to move around your wrist, you need to size up. Everybody says love bracelet should be snug, it shouldn't easily turn and twist. My love bracelet, a small love bracelet, it is so, so, this is sideways and it moves so freely on my wrist. And I know that if I purchase at some point in the future one or two more bracelets, they will still be moving around. And that's kind of what I like. I have seen this very unattractive picture of love bracelets stacked, maybe some other bracelets too. It looked like these tribal women who wear neck braces, these rings on their necks to extend their necks to elongate them, these like torture devices because it's considered beautiful in their culture, which is totally, you know, okay. I mean, we still wear corsets, or at least I do. But um, yeah, it looked very um, torturous. Um, suffocating for that poor wrist and I don't even know why it, uh, why she took that picture and posted it maybe she just wanted to show her entire uh, collection of her bracelets but it doesn't look good it kind of reminds me of um, I think hers were in the same size like uh, Kylie Jenner a long time ago she had like this huge stack of love bracelets and it looked so bad and so tacky no offense but it's like too flashy too much over the top, like with brows and lips and uh, and bracelets. It's just too much, just chill. So I decided that I need to size up and wear that stack separately. By now I have stacked this Guilloche white Guilloche bracelet with these two rose gold bracelets and they look amazing. This one was sized specifically to be a size 18, only four links removed, which is two double links, which is, anyway. the new In the new language, it's four links, so four circles. So it's very slightly smaller than it was originally and it stacks perfectly with these two. So I am loving this stack. Maybe in the future I'll add one more bracelet and that's it. I feel like Cartier has this hidden agenda of suggesting you and brainwashing you into having your love bracelet fit snug on your wrist because in the future they know you will need to size up. Because what if you get pregnant 
you know, or gain weight or lose weight, if you're thinking in terms of a stack, it's not going to go lower than this unless you lose a lot of weight. So maybe it will go a centimeter lower, but it's going to only have this much room for you to stack. It's not going to go higher than this or lower than this. So this is the amount of room you literally have for your stack. So if you put four or five bracelets on this amount of space, they're still going to have some motion to them, some fluidity. They're going to have room to move around and your wrist will feel comfortable. Unlike if you have your love bracelet sitting right here and you have like, what, two centimeters to go, one inch to go up and that's it. And what if it's humid outside or hot or you go, I don't know, to Florida to see some crocodiles and all of a sudden your wrist is like a sausage constricted by those bracelets. So please don't listen to what Cartier essays suggest. And it's very important for the beauty aspect to have your bangles move around. And another myth that Cartier essays are trying to kind of um, push on us, I feel like, or they're trained to say, is that if the bangles with these um, screws bang against each other, then it's like, they clash or whatever uh they're not they're gonna break i used to think that in the past but i have not taken this bracelet off it's been banging because i have worn these two with my smaller with my regular justin clue in a size 17 because it actually stacks really well with these because it's pretty chunky and with this bracelet it bangs all the time and um, they're also saying oh my gosh if it's too big it's gonna bang against walls and everything how in what world? How is it going to be more scratched? You're going to put it on the table, whether it's bigger or smaller, it's going to scratch the same way. If it's going to scrape against the wall because you're drunk, stumbling to find your home in the middle of the night, then it's going to bang anyway. Like, come on, don't get drunk. Because these uh, myths, I just, I, I can't. It like, uh, they're so cringy. I can't. Now, because I have this one, and I still am talking about the love bracelet because I'm so obsessed with it. And I'm obsessed with the fact that it's moving and it's like comfy and it looks so cute and sexy because even when it's here, when I'm doing something and it falls down all the way down here, well, it's not that low, but if it falls down here, it looks so feminine. I like hearing the sound of it and I just, I just love it. Don't listen to anybody. Listen to me. Okay. That's the moral of today's video. Of course, don't listen to me. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. <laughs> I don't know the words to that song, but I really like it. Okay. So now about the Justin Clue. Um, so this thin Justin Clue, and the reason I'm making this video now, it's because holidays are coming. Are you excited, guys? How excited are you? It's almost fall. I cannot believe it. I'm like freaking excited. I can't. I am a super cliche basic bitch and fall is my absolutely favorite season. It's my favorite. It's been my favorite since Ukraine because it's so beautiful in Ukraine. Golden leaves and everything. It's uh, kind of cold and rainy too, but I really like fall. I like those warm, uh, sunny days. I wanted to contribute um, to your decision making for your Christmas shopping because these bracelets are sold out. I know that this bracelet is impossible to get around holidays because the price point, it is $5,050 plus tax. So five and a half grand for me where I live and you need to add tax for where, what state you are in. But I don't think it is worth it because this love bracelet, it doesn't have diamonds and it is $4,750 plus tax. So it is exactly through $300 less than this bracelet. This one has diamonds. This bracelet without diamonds is $3,600. So it's about $1,000. Uh, this one is $1,150 more than the plain one, plain Justin Clue in thin. But this bracelet, but the Justin Clue bracelet, and I'm gonna repeat what everybody is saying. It's very lightweight. It's hollow. It has a spring inside. It has like this little device that is allowing it to open and snap back together. Uh, and this bracelet, I was very surprised. Actually, yesterday I did a little test. I took my uh, love cuff in rose gold in size 17 and I put it on a scale and it was 23.8 or 22.8. And this one was two grams or one gram and a half less. So this one is 
small love bracelet in size 18 so it's a size bigger than the love cuff but it's almost identical in weight it was uh, over 20 grams and this one I'm afraid to even put it on the scale if I do it if I weigh it later today if I decide to do it I'll insert on the screen the weight of it but it's not all gold because it has some uh, foreign body inside like a spring to let it bend and unbend and keep the same shape for a long period of time and that is not the reason why I'm saying that it is not worth it it is not worth it because it gives me stress it gives my OCD a twitching eye it's just it's too much it's too much and the reason I'm saying that is because I constantly see on Instagram on YouTube videos girls wearing this bracelet wrong so this part this pointy part will be on the other side and there will be space between the nail head and the pointy nail part and I thought it's never gonna happen to me because I'm not an idiot I felt like everybody is stupid but me I am in the same boat with you stupid people guys <laughs> because it is so easy because if you wear a sweater with somewhat tighter um, sleeves it will go over this bracelet it will grab onto this pointy part and it will flip it the other way and I'm I can't believe I'm doing this to show you but do you see the space so this is what happens and that is not how it's supposed to be worn so you need to then a few hours after I wore the damn sweater I take it off and I see this and I can't believe that this happened to me and I've been wearing it like that for hours so obviously I flipped it the other way and on the diamond version it's very easy to see because where the nail pointy part of the nail is supposed to touch the head there is a space without diamonds and it's supposed to have that little snap like that so it's not supposed to be on the diamond side it's supposed to be on the little bit without diamonds but when i spoke to my essay she did show me this little because i told her hey what pisses me off the most is when women wear it like open and it's like probably not good for the bracelet and she said yes it's like that and she like literally twisted the bracelet to show me and then she said you need to flip it the other way back to normal because if you wear it like that for a long period of time i don't know what's gonna happen to the bracelet and the fact that she doesn't know what's gonna happen to the bracelet freaks me out like it really puts me off wearing this bracelet because you don't feel it this thing will get caught this little thing will get caught travel over and you will never know so when I see girls filming YouTube videos and having it the other and most of the time they have it flipped the other way just open your eyes and pay attention like I just want to like reach out through my screen through my TV and fix that bracelet for her I literally once wanted to write a comment to this girl I like her videos but she keeps wearing this bracelet the other way and I can't I can't it's just oh it pisses me off so much but it happens to me and I feel like it is not worth it it should be more um, I don't know thought through it should not bend that other way at all like it should just stop and be either very difficult or impossible to bend it the other way and just have that spring not m like motionless to the other side I uh, I don't know but <laughs> that's kind of my idea uh, so Cartier take notes okay other than that I really like it I enjoy it very much I like the size I like how it sparkles it has more diamonds than the regular Justin Clou ring uh, thick Justin Clou with uh, diamonds I don't think they have thin with diamonds anyway so it has slightly chunkier diamonds I thought it had less diamonds because this one is thick but it doesn't it has more um, and it is a very good price point so if you are not easily bothered by uh, you know imperfections you're not OCD about like little things um, but if you are more easygoing which is great you should be like that you should relax you should chill then this bracelet is definitely for you I highly recommend it it is very easy very easy to take off let me do it without looking at it to take off and put on so yeah this is what I'm saying so it will travel this way and it will not look it's not even like steady anymore 
So you need to flip it like this so it's actually closed. Please subscribe to my channel. My goal is 2,000 subscribers. Maybe I will buy something. I, I'm looking for any excuse. I'm looking for any excuse to keep shopping. So give it to me, okay? Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, comment down below, and um, I'll see you next Tuesday. It didn't happen Tuesday this week. It's gonna be Wednesday because I'm filming on Tuesday, but it was a very busy week. That's why, guys, you need to subscribe because you never know when I'm gonna post next. <laughs> okay, come down. Bye, guys!